Do you believe your child has been exposed to measles? Are you wondering how to prevent measles because there's an outbreak currently going on in your community? In today's episode, we're going to talk about prevention strategies and what you could expect if your child has potentially been exposed to measles. Welcome to the Beehive Doc Talks with Dr. Blair Rolnick. As a pediatrician and mother herself, Dr. Rolnick is here to answer your most pressing parenting questions and guide you through the tough spots. Welcome back to Be Kind Pediatrics. My name is Dr. Blair Rolnick. I'm a board certified pediatrician and mom myself. On last week's episode, we talked a little bit about measles, what the symptoms are, and how it's spread. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about preventing measles, um, ways to protect your family against measles, and what we normally would recommend if we believe a patient has been exposed to a case of measles. Let's dive in into prevention. What are some of the best ways to prevent your family and loved ones from getting measles? Firstly, there's always good hand washing. So washing your hands with soap and water, avoiding sick people. If you're sick, staying home, covering your nose and mouth when you sneeze and avoiding touching your nose, eyes, and mouth. After that, those are kind of the standard recommendations I give to all patients and families about any um, respiratory droplet um, transmitted disease, including, including the measles virus. But secondly, there is the MMR vaccine. So the MMR vaccine is measles, mumps, and rubella. It's a two-dose series. It is a live virus vaccine, typically given to children between 12 and 15 months old. And then again, um, a second dose at 46 years old. And for the measles portion of this vaccine, it's actually quite effective. So one dose per gives you about 93% protection and two doses gives you about 97% protection. Another reason that measles has been making the news is because the CDC has recently updated their recommendations regarding children who are traveling internationally. This is because if you met, listened to my first episode, we talked about how measles has been eradicated from the United States since the early 2000s. And all the cases and um, outbreaks we see here are from a person who is either under vaccinated or unvaccinated, traveling internationally, acquiring measles, and unknowingly returning to the United States. Because of this, the CDC is now recommending that any child traveling internationally should receive the vaccination accordingly. So children between six and 11 months old should get one dose of the vaccine prior to travel, ideally two weeks before they travel. And then they should get the recommended two-dose series um, between ages 12 and 15 months, and again, a second dose between four and six years old. For children who are 12 months and older and have received one dose of their MMR vaccine, they should get a second dose 28 days after the first dose. For children who are 12 months old and are unvaccinated, they should receive one dose immediately, and then their second dose 28 days after their first dose. For teens and adults who are traveling um, and have no evidence of immunity, they should get the same. So their first dose immediately, and then a second dose 28 days after the first dose. What do I mean by evidence of immunity? So the CDC says acceptable evidence of immunity against measles includes at least one of the following. Laboratory evidence of immunity, so that means measuring your immunoglobins for measles, adequate vaccination, laboratory confirmation of having had measles or being born within the United States before 1957. So we talked a little bit about prevention strategies for measles. Now I want to talk about what you should do if you believe your child has measles or has been exposed to a case of measles. So firstly, if you believe your child has had an exposure or has measles, you should immediately contact your healthcare provider. Exposure treatment really depends on the age of the patient. Um, and is really at the discretion of your provider. But for the most part, children who are under six months of age or who are immunocompromised and have been exposed to a documented case of measles should receive measles pooled immunoglobulins intramuscularly. Children who are six to 11 months old and have been exposed to a case of measles in the last 72 hours should receive one dose of the MMR vaccination. Children six to 11 months old who've been exposed to measles case greater than 72 hours, but less than um, six days should receive immunoglobulins. Children who are older than 12 months of age and are unvaccinated and have been exposed to a case of measles should receive one dose of the vaccination and then their routine vaccination. Children who are 12 months and older and have had 
one measles dose so far and then have been exposed to a case of measles should receive a second dose of MMR 28 days from the first dose. So if you, are, if you have a child who is 12 months old um, and has received one vaccine and they just got it, let's say 10 days ago, um, then they should receive a second MMR dose um, 18 days later. I hope that gives you a little bit of information about what you might expect if you believe your child has an exposure to measles case, how to prevent and protect your family from getting measles. I hope you find this information helpful and empowering. If you have any questions or concerns, as always, please leave me below. Thank you for watching the Beehive Doc Talks with Dr. Blair Rolnick. For more episodes and her practice, visit BeKindPediatrics.com and don't forget to subscribe for more parenting tips wherever you get your podcasts. This information is for educational purposes only. It is not medical advice. Always seek medical advice from a qualified physician.